Okay, so um, so we have these qualitative considerations uh, that we just discussed, and uh, all these. If you put all this together, um, we should realize that there must be a one-to-one -one relationship between the impact parameter B and the scattering angle theta, the angle through which the um, the uh, alpha particle scatters relative to its initial trajectory. Okay, and so we the in order to sort of analyze the scattering problem, we basically have to find this relationship. We have to find b, the scattering parameter, as a function of theta, or equivalently, it's somewhat easier to think of the theta, the scattering angle, as a function of b. Um, but of course, uh, these these two statements are uh, this. You can also find the inverse function, and that, in fact, is turns out what we need to find um, for a single particle, and um, and this relationship must also depend on, uh, you know, the mass of both particles, uh, the velocity of the incoming particle, the kinetic energy of the incoming particle, the charge of each particle, as we've discussed in these uh, in these qualitative assumptions um, up here. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do this in two parts. We're first going to uh, derive an expression for b of theta for a single particle. And then we're going to see how this relates to a beam of particles, okay? Because obviously, a beam, any given alpha particle can have a different value of b, okay? Different impact parameter for a particular scattering center, and so um, we'll first solve this generically for one particle, and then we'll see what happens when you have a beam of particles, okay? So first, we need to derive. Um, uh, the impact parameter B is a function of theta, and the first consideration is the Coulomb force. So the only, as, as we discussed, the Coulomb force is the only force acting between the alpha particle and the uh, scattering center, the, nu the nucleus, the gold nu a, a gold nucleus. Okay, and so this, as I'm showing in this diagram here, which is uh, similar to the one I showed you before, but now it's got a little more detail. Um, the uh, Coulomb force is is pointing radially away from the scattering center, okay, and um, and its ma and its magnitude is is equal to um, the charge of the incoming particle, the charge of the nucleus, divided by uh, four pi epsilon naught r squared. Remember, this is the permittivity of free space. This just comes directly from you know, you should recognize that from your um, introductory electricity and magnetism course and then if we um, if we uh, basically call the um, uh, the charge of the incoming particle little z times times the elect uh, times a fundamental charge like the charge on an electron e um, and the big uh, the uh, nucleus a big Q big Z times um, uh, times uh, the fundamental charge, then we can write this expression like that. Okay, and so that's the again that's the only force acting on the uh, on between the two particles, and and obviously it's uh, increasing as the particle approaches, and then once we get to the point of uh, closest approach, it increases all the way to that point, and then it decreases as the particle recedes. 